Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing, trying on, and showing you a few comparisons of the new lipsticks that Charlotte Tilbury has launched for Lunar New Year. So if you want to see some lip swatches, then just keep watching. I thought this was supposed to be limited edition. It says on the Charlotte Tilbury website, these are limited edition icons, but then you click on the lipstick specifically. It doesn't say the lipsticks are limited edition, but I think I put money on these are limited edition, but like Charlotte Tilbury's version of limited edition, AKA they'll probably be available for a while, but don't hold me to it. Nonetheless, if you don't know, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are my all time favorite formula, particularly her kissing formula. Unfortunately, these are not her kissing formula. These are her hot lips matte formula, which are still very, very good. One of my favorite matte lipstick formulas, but again, it's not as good as her kissing, which is more shiny, but her matte lipstick formula is still amazing and amazing enough for me to spend $37 each on these. So yes, they are $37. You can pick them up on the Charlotte Tilbury website. And if they are available anywhere else, I will link them in the description box down below for you guys. But let's get into it. So most special thing about this collection is going to be their packaging. So this is the box that they are going to come in. Look at this lucky red and tiger print packaging. Here's the side. It explains about the matte revolution formula. These lipsticks are made in Italy, which is lovely. I'm looking for a shelf life here. Oh, 18 month shelf life, fantastic, but we love it. And then you push through and boom, here lays the lipstick, which also has that red tiger print on it. Really beautiful. I'm a sucker for the limited edition packaging from Charlotte Tilbury when it comes to her lipsticks. I just think they're so special. My collection of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks has declined given that some of them have gotten old or some of them are just my mom's, but ugh. I just love seeing them all together. Anyways, let's take a look at these shades here. In case you didn't know about this packaging, these lipsticks are also refillable, so you can repurchase a lipstick for a little bit cheaper and then pop it into the packaging. Let me tell you, I've never bought a refillable lipstick, <laughs> so I just paid the $37 every single time, so it's not really refillable for me because I never refill them. But anyways, three colors. Let's take a look at the first one. We're gonna go through this one kind of fast. I, I'm thinking it's gonna be a quick video. The first shade that we have and you can see I've already worn them. This is Only Muse, which is a delicate peachy nude matte. So let's take a look. So even though the lipsticks are matte, you can see they still have some moisture to them. So they're not gonna be a super flat matte, which you will be thankful for because that makes them very, very comfortable. So let's try this on. This is going to be the most wearable in the collection. What do we think of Only Muse? It definitely is like a red with a very strong orange to it. I really like this one. Again, like I said, this is the lightest one, so you can see that the colors in this collection are quite bold. If you don't like bold lips, this is not going to be the collection for you, but it really is a comfortable matte. These are not the most long wearing, which is okay because that's what makes them so comfortable. I applied this without a lip liner. I think it looks really pretty. So again, this is Only Muse. Also, I know I don't need to have these hair clips in my hair, but the front of my hair today was looking janky. I don't know why, but I think it's just better if we pin it back. I'm just gonna keep it this way the whole time. Next, let's take a look at Walk of a Star. This is described as a soft muted berry rose matte. So you can definitely see this has more berry in it. Let's try it out. This color would be so pretty for a date night. I love it. So again, this is Walk of a Star. Really pretty. Now this is really in the true red tones here. Love it. Every time I wear red lips, I'm like, I need to wear red lipstick more and then I never end up doing it. I was pretty good in December. I made a goal in December to wear more bold lipsticks and I did. I just wish this collection launched a little sooner so that I could have incorporated these. Okay, my lips are a little stained, but that's okay because the last color is rich. The last shade that we have is K Romance. Look at that. Let me swatch this for you. Sorry, my bones were being weird. This is a bright berry matte lipstick. So it definitely looks like a much brighter berry. Let me show you the pigmentation with that first swatch. Look at that, full opacity. 
And here is K Romance. Honestly, you guys, this one is my favorite of the three. It's definitely more bold than I usually do, but I think this is like the perfect berry. It definitely has a lot of red in there though. It's my favorite though. I would say it's the most unique in my collection and this collection is bold. So if I had to pick one, I'd pick this one because I just love the tone on me. So K Romance is my favorite. And again, if you wanna take a look at the swatches to see the difference in color, here they are. If you are new to the Charlotte Tilbury matte form, Formulation. Basically, they're a comfortable matte. They do have a little bit of satin to them, as you can see, but that's what makes them comfortable. If you pair them with a good lip liner, they're going to last a long time, but they are not transfer proof by any means. I do not have the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection that I once had. Some have expired, some I've given to my mom, but I am going to swatch to the ones that I felt I had that were similar. So if you have some Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and you want to know if there are any close dupes or how they might look, let's get into it. Okay, so here's what I could find that was similar to Only Muse. So right here, I have Sweet Blossom. I would say these two are probably the closest. Sweet Blossom is a kissing formula, and it is ever so slightly darker, but I think they just give a similar effect on the lips. Here is Karina Star. This has more like peachiness to it, but again, it's very close, but it is just a wee bit brighter. And then I thought I'd give Red Hot Susan a try because sometimes Red Hot Susan can look a little bit orange, but it's very, very different. But I would say if you have Karina Star or Sweet Blossom, you could probably pass on Only Muse. Okay, so next we're gonna compare Walk of a Star. And I will say, I feel like this one was harder to get a close match with. So first we have Super Starlight, which ended up not being a match at all. Then we have Mrs. Kisses, which is a little bit more peachy, but I think it looked similar, but different tones here. Then we have Wedding Bells. Again, same thing, different tone, but could look similar. And then lastly, I did First Dance, which is a little bit more opaque, but I think these two color-wise are probably the most similar, but they still look different. I don't know. This one doesn't have very many close matches in my own personal collection. Final lipstick to match up was K Romance which you can see I feel like it looks more red in the actual lipstick but it definitely pulls like a brighter berry so the first shade that I swatched was Amazing Amal I think these two are very very similar K Romance is just a bit brighter and I think it's a little bit more berry so it definitely looks more vivid on my hand but they're similar then we have First Dance which is more muted and then finally, this ended up not being very close. I don't even know what color it is. I think it's Wedding Bells. I just wanted to see, but these aren't even close. But definitely similar to Amazing Amal and First Dance, but just a bit more vivid. All right, you guys, so there you are. I swatched and compared all three of the new Lunar New Year lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. Personally, K-Romance is my favorite, but I think all three of them are beautiful. Do I think you need all of them or any of them? Not really. If you see a color that stands out to you, I can guarantee you the quality is good and you will love it, but it's only if you need these colors. I don't think this collection is going to be for everybody because the colors are so bright and deep and red, which honestly isn't my cup of tea. I wasn't jumping for joy for this lip collection either. I'm a nude girl too, but I think she did a good job with the colors and their pretty tones. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.